<laughs> Hi everyone, this is the Lucy Y podcast and I am recording this Thursday, August 31st. When I wrote my notes it was 10 10 a.m. but now it's 12:48 p.m. <coughs> Sorry. I am human. <laughs> But this is my way of being more authentic and true to myself with putting myself out there. Because I've already put myself out there on all these social platforms and everything of mine is public anyway. Because I want to be open and I don't have anything to hide. And I don't want to accept people's follow requests and deal with all that because that's like a job. And I just stress myself out too much about it. I'm, like, overthinking it. I remember having a private app. Well, I remember being private, my account being private, and that was a lot. Sorry, I'm kind of reading off my notes. Um, But that app, that would tell you if people unfollowed you, and (laughs) I was so embarrassed of it, but it's, like, then other people would talk about it, and I'm, like, wait, what do you mean? So I got it. And it was just unnecessary because it felt like social <laughs> rejection. Like, and you could, like, see it and it felt sketch. I don't know. But that kind of got my feelings hurt, definitely. And <laughs> then it's like most of the time you do it back, like, unfollow them back, and it's so, like, meticulously petty. That's why I don't identify with any of my social profiles anymore. <laughs> That's, and that's why I kind of post whatever I feel I want, and people think I'm crazy, in quotes. I've been told that before, and it's just, I know who I am now. I'm not my Instagram. I'm not whatever you want me to be. I am me. I feel connected to earth and God, and I know the only thing that matters is the truth, and the truth is, I am not what you think of me. Okay, that was felt like I was reading off a prompter and it's like I did it even well that got me started so apparently a lot of people listen to this and I am very grateful I mean that's what like I (laughs) not surprised not surprised, but I'm just talking about me, my life, and my experience. I'm coloring right now. So what was... I, yeah. That's why I haven't posted in... That's why I'm kind of filming this, too. Ain't I? wasn't looking at myself so it kind of feels weird but I hope you can hear me too okay let me sit closer but yeah I don't know how all of you have found me heard of me but I am so grateful that You came across it and listened to it. I I think, I mean, that means something. I think it came across your path for a reason. It could have been to swipe it away. It could have been to listen to it. It could have been anything. What have I been doing? This morning, I woke up. Baby kind of woke me up. I remember having to pee so bad. (laughs) I woke up and it's just like I kind of stay there until like have to because I know once I'm up I'm like oh and if I do end up uploading this I've been organizing my room and kind of spin it um I call it my room it's my whole apartment it's a studio apartment I got a window open But I've been organizing it. That's what... There used to be clothes all... I have this... These... uh, Built-in shelves around my whole room. 
Oh, I'm also trying not to ramble. I mean, I can ramble, but sometimes I feel like I can't take a breath. And since it's a podcast, like, I don't want someone to be, like, clicking their phone and be like, oh, what happened? And it's like, I was just taking a breath or thinking, I gotta do that. I used to not breathe. And I, like, wanted to hold my breath when people were next to me. (laughs) And I think it kind of cause because I don't know if I was born with it like a deviated septum and I didn't really realize that until like 2020 I told you all about how I meditated for like 10 hours I like never wanted to stop in July of 2020 and that's when I started like meditating more and like paying attention to my breath and I wasn't even until a year or two later when I finally was like okay I think I can do the something about this about like I realized yeah people aren't just mouth breathers or nose breathers like I kind of didn't know that you uh, everyone should be able to breathe out your nose so if you can't breathe out your nose I I think our breath is really important. It kind of is our quality of life. Like my quality of life has gone a lot better since my breathing has become more normal or like regulated, it become better. Um, Full of deeper breaths through my nose. Like there's science about breathing through your mouth and stuff and you know, I'm not the one who studies it. I'm just the one who is telling you <clears throat> about my experience. Everyone should be able to breathe out their nose, I believe. And your insurance may be able to pay for it. If you even have insurance. I got my car insurance and car title in my name now. And... That's an experience, going to the county clerk. I feel like I may have already talked about this. Oh yeah, I said I had to go back. We did go back. It was fine. Of course, my credit card declines when I used it. (laughs) But (laughs) I had another card. (laughs) That's so funny. Have you, uh, y'all ever have stuff decline and then you're like, uh, can you put this back? The amount of times that that's happened. It's funny. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I didn't know how much was on it. <laughs> Money is funny, honey. Bunny. This is like a purpley brown chestnut. Oh, I had other stuff I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about not taking things personally. Looking to where your anger is. Challenges in the workplace. Empathizing with those suffering. Age. The joy and power of new beginnings. Togetherness. Yeah, let's start. Or let's just do, because <laughs> those could all be things by themselves. That's what, I don't know if I did blog posts about those, the top ones. But, um, age. Okay, so, I, like, I get, um, ooh, look at that big scar on my arm. I get people getting annoyed by people younger than them and like if they show point something out to you I don't know just I mean or people just looking down on me because of my age or I mean that's really it that's really it it's just because of my age 
But your age doesn't determine anything. I mean, it does determine some stuff, but... I think people, like, dismiss me. Like, I've always kind of felt like this because of being the youngest. Of people treating me like a baby. Sometimes. I mean, they kind of treat me as an adult, and then they... expects me to be like a baby or treat me like a baby I don't know but something the other day was like mom just kind of patted me on the back and was just like oh you're so, you're so young blah, blah, blah. you don't know anything and it's like I wasn't claiming to know anything. There was a conversation going on at a table. She brought me to this lunch, work lunch, whatever, and it, um, they just kept talking about, I don't even want to talk about this, but they just kept talking about work, 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 and they just kept complaining. And I'm like, finally, asked a question I'm like are you talking about this blah 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 and I was just like trying to problem solve I'm like oh we got to do something about this instead of complaining I didn't say that but it's like they kept saying I didn't know what I was talking about blah 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 and I was just asking questions and it's like I'm like you all are just gonna let this happen like if you're not making money my mom's not gonna make money like it doesn't make any sense some new rules some big company bought a small company and now it's messing things up taking things slower not making as much money like I don't know but this is capitalism I guess and we if you think you can't do anything about it, then that's how it's going to be. Like, uh, if you think you can do something about it, then, like, you can. And it will happen. Like, I don't... Just, I have... This victim mindset is very easy. It's very easy to be stuck in and to think you can't get out but I'm here to tell you that you can and it's up to you to decide I think I did make a blog post about if I get the title but it's like stop complaining and do what you gotta do like I for look at it figuring out how to uh, it's with Google Ads, I it says it's up there, but I don't see. So if you see ads on my website, let me know. I don't know about that, but yeah, stop complaining. That's why I don't like complaining. That's why I don't like bringing people down and like sharing bad news. That's why I don't like telling people usually what's going on with me. That wise, like what I'm upset about or I mean I don't or complaining like I really don't like so if you don't if you know me and you feel like you don't really know me maybe that's why if you ask me I'll tell you about stuff I used to be very a lot more hidden because I didn't really know me my life was about everyone else um like, I remember, you know, when people ask you about yourself and then you, like, start to explain how your mom's feeling or how your siblings are or what they're doing. It's like, oh, Lucy, how how are you doing? Oh, my my mom's doing this. My brother's doing that. Da-da-da. Like, I don't think I said anything about me. So, that was my life for a long time. 
And then I s and it I feel like I always explained stuff I didn't even like like I always had to explain dance, be like, oh dance is fine and it's like I don't even like dance. Like why do I feel like I have to play this game with everyone? Like a riding this carousel with people and I just like can't wait to get off and then once I get home fall asleep and wake up again and ha I'm back on the carousel shoddy's like a melody in my head like a game did anyone else think it was Chinese like a melody Chinese like a melody in my head and I can't keep on Na 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 every day got my eyeballs stuck in me play play Oh I wrote more stuff in my phone <laughs> If y'all can see my notes app I'm telling you how to solve your problems if it seems right and think it's right but it doesn't feel right then okay i know what that was about <laughs> uh school seemingly oh that's why it says meds pod okay yeah it was on the nesty classified school survival guide podcast i think i talked about that on another podcast um if it seems right and you think it's right i was thinking about college but it doesn't feel right oof because your feelings are very important. I mean, there's signs from your body, there's signs from your soul, they're, they're important. Kind of tells you how you feel. So you might think school sounds like the right thing to do and who told you that? Society, society also tells you that a lot of things are good for you that aren't. And they're always changing their mind, and it's really just people trying to make money, sadly. Um, the capitalism type of society, I guess there's... Which is, like, politics, which... If you live in a country, you kind of have to go by the rules of the politics. In America... Um, like, even if I choose to live... Like, you kind of have to pay taxes, don't you? I don't know. I've said it before. I could easily run away and not talk to anybody. But I feel like a purposeful community. That's something about togetherness. Like, I think... Um, like, people coming together for our purpose of... Um... Just enjoyment, living life, having fun, evolving and growing, and just sharing light and love. Like, I, if we all came together in that, because I think we all, like, who doesn't want a great life? Like, if you don't, you really, like, I empathize with your suffering. The Buddhist, their thing is, like, life is suffering. And when I heard that, that was interesting to think about. Because I'm like, you know, I'm like, I was like, I feel that. Like, uh, like life is kind of suffering until you realize you are kind of in control of it. Like, instead of allowing the, like everything in the world to affect you and bring you down because that's what it does. Like life is, it kind of brings you down, but that's supposed to, it's supposed to make you stronger from the inside. Life is fun. Color, summer fun, laugh a lot there. I'm reading posters on my wall. 
Ooh, I got... I went to Kroger earlier and I got... Um, I was craving the cookie crisp cereal. I'm looking at it right now. It looks beautiful. The cookie crisp cereal. So good. I'm probably gonna... And I got Lucky Charms. And milk and ice cream. I got a huge thing of ice cream. It was the big Kroger one. It wasn't the kind of one I like. I think I got... Maybe I got cookies and cream, which is like not something I would get easily, but you know, it was a big one. It was more in deal, or I had a deal. I don't know, I walked back and forth several times. I went to the pharmacy, of course. I always show up like the day before I can pick it up. It was funny, I told him that. And some nice person, I, cause I carried a baby in there my baby my puppy and i got one of those basket things and it was just like i was just doing it all by myself and he helped me so that was nice thank you it was kind of early this morning and then i saw my mom she was walked out the door right when i kind of went up when i was letting baby out so i've let baby out twice we've like gone into the woods both times like she gets stuck and i let her into t- these woodlands and then i if i hear a little noise like bop, then i know she's stuck she's very quiet she doesn't like do anything that's what when she saw a mom mom was like you didn't bark at me i'm like yeah I mean, she doesn't really do that. Um, but I saw my mom. Yesterday was interesting. <laughs> I might just keep it at that. <laughs> Snort burp. Yeah. My old teachers have been emailing me. And it's just nice. Life is nice. I. Oh, so I didn't know. I. I didn't know people listened to this, and I honestly seeing that like it really inspired me to keep doing this. I'm like, wow, I can't. Like, I don't want to stop. But. I was kind of in like the frozen mode. Of when to do it because like I'm on a roll and then if I stop the roll it's like oh I stopped the roll I gotta get back on it so I'm not I'm always getting back on a roll yeah I've been watching Seinfeld it's so hilarious I don't know, this might be it. I might film later. I just kind of wanted to do this to just, like, do it. See if I can even upload a video. I feel a lot better in my place because I have organized all my clothes where everything has a spot now and it's not, like, uh, stacked and, like, all close together. I mean... You should have seen it before, so. <laughs> like, things are, like, stuffed in there, but now, like, everything's kind of has a place that has room to breathe. That is what this is all about. We all need room to breathe. Let's stop taking things personally. Stop complaining and do something about it, okay? <laughs> That's why I really am happy that <laughs> if you don't know... Uh, how happy I am to like be where I am be who I am then you should read my journal even though you can't so good luck trying I can read something let me read was the last that's why I started a new journal too so it's a new phase it was kind (laughs) of I've been wanting to end my journal. That's kind of what I, why I've been, like, holding back writing in my journal. Because it's like, oh, I just want to write a new one. Like, I just want to end this one and start a new one. So, I'm like, I wrote in it. I'm like, uh, I'm done with this journal. I'm going to start a new one. Because I've been carrying, when I'm low on one, I start carrying my next one. 
I'm like, I'm just done with it. I'm going to start my other one. Because it's like a whole new phase. It's a whole new start. Like, after you, every time you wake up. Like, after every time you poop or pee or color. It's always a new start. You're always, like, in the now, in the present moment. So, you can always start. Time doesn't exist, like we've talked about. I wonder what you all like hearing about. I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> Here's something I wrote yesterday? Tuesday? No. I think I wrote the wrong time. I kept writing 9 when I meant 10. I think this is supposed to be 10. On Tuesday? Did I, did I not write in this yesterday? Wait, what day is today? Oh, today I wrote the wrong day. Wait, I have no idea. what I'd be thinking. I could be writing, like, stuff. You ever, like, write something and then you're, like, oh, like, just did not notice the typos at all. But then sometimes you just always notice every single typo. I, in a, I like what I wrote. I interact with people as I know who they are created to be. And I know everyone's created to be, like, on the same level. Like, we're all God's children, whatever infinite beings light beings in these bodies on earth so I interact with people as I know who they are created to be if someone gets mad at me and is upset and it hurts my feelings I just um I don't want to interact on them based on my hurt I feel from them, you know? I want to interact with them as who they are made to be, which is like love and light and... I think everyone deserves to respect. You know when someone keeps saying, you don't respect me, you don't respect me, and it's like you keep telling them, I do respect you. I completely respect you. I'm just not doing what you want me to be doing. You're getting mad at me for me not doing what you want me to do. Like, it's just, I respect you, but I'm not like you're going to do whatever you say. You are a human being just like me, so why... I gotta think about what I gotta do. You think about you gotta do. Okay? Okay. See, I'm talking slower. I'm looking at that cereal. I might be going. Okay? Let's close this out, peoples. I really love talking to you all because I that's I I'm gonna be so vulnerable because I want other people to show how vulnerable they they can be like how I started this off with like I if I'm gonna be putting myself out there anyway like I want to be the one I want to be doing this instead of like posting pictures on Instagram like, I like this better, so why not do it? Okay. It's 1 to 17 p.m. And that's why I, <laughs> so I end every podcast with, I gotta pee. <laughs> but all love, love all. See you all. Have a great rest of your day whenever you're listening to this. Let me do it at the same time. I'm gonna stop recording and stop filming. Five, four, three, two.